Hello, hello, everyone. How are you doing? I am relaxing. <laughs> yes, I am just sitting here relaxing and the house is quiet. Everyone's gone. <laughs> it's just me. So I thought I'd hang out with you guys if you like. And I'm going to make some painterly looking cards today. I was thinking of making some like mini painterly junk journal too. So we'll just see how quickly I get through this. Hey bug. Hi Deidre. How are you? I hope you're both doing well. Yeah, so I have um, two kits that I'm going to work with today. These are from Sweet Pea Curiosities. And it's on Etsy. Um, and the first one is this gorgeous, like, art-themed kit. And it comes with pages that have, like, these pockets and labels and little pieces of ephemera. There's lots and lots of those, some of which I've already cut up. And then it has, um, not these flowers, but it has like lots of different backgrounds and ephemera. Look at these pages. I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous to me, but I love anything like art themed and paint themed. So um, I'm going to combine it with these mixed media flowers. I've already cut a couple, not too many. But I have cut a couple. Um, this is another kit at Sweet Pea Curiosities that's called, I think it's called Mixed Media Flowers. And it there's like 30 pages. There's every color that your heart can think of. Look at these. Absolutely gorgeous. Different types too. Like some are real artsy and folky and then some are more realistic looking and then there's like book pages like I was sitting here fussy cutting these and I was like we could make some of these uh, flowers inspired by these just by using like old book pages and our die cuts and we could totally make some dimensional flowers like these so these are the two kits I'm working with hi Amy um, this is all Sweet Pea Curiosity on Etsy. And um, she just, these are brand new kits that she just released. It's an art themed kit and mixed media flowers. So you've probably seen me work with the mixed media birds before and she just released some flowers. So that's what I'm working with. We'll get warmed up. I'll make a couple of cards and then I think we will make a little art journal. Aren't they beautiful? Oh my gosh, I love these so much. So, so much. Okay, let's just start with this one. And I'll make a couple of five by seven cards. I also Googled a couple of art quotes. One of the things I thought of when I saw her ephemera for this kit, which has a lot of like, little boys painting and then paint brushes this is some of the ephemera um, I loved these pen and ink like these pen nibs and the ink bottles um, but then there's also other ones let me grab those real quick again I've only printed a very small selection of everything that is included in these kits but it includes a lot of imagery of artists and swatches. It's just so lovely. Okay, so when I was looking at it, I thought with this ephemera, it'd be really cute um, to say something like, I love the way you see the world, you know, because they're just painting what they see, what's around them. Um, and then another idea, <laughs> The, another kind of quote that I made up was allow your creativity to be ignited, ignited by the little things. I think that that is something that's so true to me. I see things all the time and I get such a spark 
of creativity and that I want to be in the craft room, even though it's just like little things and they're not related to paper crafting at all, but I can totally use the inspiration to ignite my creativity. So those are kind of my two little quotes that I came up with. And then I Googled and I pulled a couple of others. Painting is just another way to keep a diary. That's Pablo Picasso. And another one of his that I always love is art washes away from the soul, the dust of everyday life. And then we have an artist is not paid for his labor, but for his vision. And um, that was James Whistler. So yeah, I just love those art quotes. Hey, Noreen, welcome, welcome. Oh my gosh, y'all, my washing machine. Uh, sounds crazy. I'm not even going in there. It'll just have to work itself out. <laughs> Hi, LaDonna. How are you? Hey, Paula. Hi, Pineapple Paper Crafts. Hi. How are y'all? Yeah, I love those quotes. So let's make a couple of cards and then I want to make a couple of small books. So I'm going to cut this down. This is going to be our background to so six and three quarters. And then I'm going to cut this to four and three quarters, uh, five by seven card in the making here. This is gonna go to four and three quarters as well. And so these are the strips or scraps that I have left over, but we were able to get two backgrounds from one eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. So these will be the start of our two cards. We'll work on those simultaneously here. Hi, Miss Laura, how are you? I was decompressing very late last night and I saw your comment. Thank you so much. All those affirmations you sent me were just the sweetest. I want you to know I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to come back and and comment and let her know how much I appreciate her. So thank you, Laura. I'm glad you caught me so I could tell you. Hi, Jim. How are you? It's good to see you here. I like the idea of little layers peeking up. This one will probably have to be trimmed off. I need um, some visual separation between this background and the ephemera. So that's kind of what I'm looking for here. These, we've also got, let's see, the Saint Paintbrush Artist, another one that says Artist, another one that says Paintbrush, Create and Imagine. Those are fun. So we've got those labels and then these flowers, these mixed media flowers. So let's bring these in. And just see, I don't wanna cover up too much of these gorgeous backgrounds. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this piece of ephemera. I'm gonna trim it off right here and basically extend it above and below. Let's also play with, I never make horizontal cards and I don't know why. I guess I just don't think of it. Uh, I'm gonna have to trim this a little more if it's gonna fit for the horizontal. Do you guys make a lot of tall vertical cards? I think honestly, I used to make more of a variation and I've just kind of fallen into mostly vertical ones. I think this might allow for more flowers and more background to show. Do something like this and then bring in, how about this label that says create? I 
about something like that? My whole family's at the orchestra right now. I was going to go, but I've just been going, going, going nonstop this weekend. And I finally was like, nope, I'm going to chill. I'm going to hang out in a quiet house and make cards. <laughs> And then it only took me about 15 minutes to go, I should invite my friends. I should do a live. <laughs> I think our first card is pretty much ready. I'm going to uh, score my card base real quick. How was y'all's day? Good afternoon, Jim. I hope you're well. It's so good to see you. You're probably typically sleeping when I do a live at 5 a.m. during the week. And they're very hit and miss. They're not on a schedule. So I don't encourage anyone to wake up for them. But if you're up, come and visit. Come and hang out. But don't lose sleep because they're not scheduled. Okay, we've got two card bases. How about, ooh, I think I want some fabric. Okay, I just grabbed a few handfuls of fabric. I've got this gorgeous Indian, um, it's actually from India, this fabric. Oh, look at the elephants. Uh, so, it's so rich in texture and color. I think it could really complement these cards. I think this one's far too big. I just, I didn't want to leave y'all hanging, so I grabbed a whole bunch at once. Um, I like the elephants. So far, I think I like these two. But yeah, it looks like they use old, like, uh, newspaper or something to bind these together. Let's see. Can we fit an elephant on here? I mean, why not? Let's try. If we don't like it, we won't glue it on. <laughs> but we got to at least try. So let's see. I also love that one. Look at that one. Okay. Oh, Angie, I'm so glad you're catching me live too. I'm so glad you're here. Happy Sunday. Now I know my Aussie friends, well, they're probably sleeping, but if they join, I know it's probably not Sunday for them anymore. They moved on to Monday already. I don't know if I love it with that trim. Looks like I only have one yard of this one, but I do think it's better. Let's just grab a little bit of this one. Okay, just a little texture. Ooh, I like that. We did it, that's it. As soon as I like it, I don't keep like auditioning things. I'm just like, well, that's it. <laughs> oh, on your hip pain. You have hip pain, Jim. I am sorry. I am a Mary perimenopausal woman. So I have hip pain too. I feel you and I'm sorry. I know it's no fun. I have to watch how long I sit, but I also have to watch how long I walk. Like yesterday, pretty sure we walked miles and miles shopping with my daughter and all of her friends. And I was experiencing hip pain last night too. Oh, Laura, thank you. Solid color piece with them also. Oh, that's an interesting idea, LaDonna. 
to add a solid colored piece. I'm thinking you're thinking ribbon. I think I'm good. I like this, um, but maybe we can explore that with the next one. I could potentially put a piece of sari, I, or this is a seam binding actually, over here. These are just scraps that um, come with red lead paperwork stamps. When you buy their stamps, they tie them together with um, seam binding. It's so cute. And I had just stashed some over on my desk. So it was just hanging out over there. I like this blue. I was thinking of putting it with the blue over here. Can maybe tuck it behind the flower a little bit. We'll see. That is that has potential. Okay, let's put this card together. The concert started at four. Oh, solid color paper. <laughs> I see what you're saying. Well, I don't actually see what you're saying, but I see that you're not talking about solid color ribbon now. Um, you mean without, where, where do you think the solid color paper should go? As a background? Up in the front? Okay, let's get these repositioned up here. I have to decide which pieces to pop up. I could definitely pop up this flower. I could put the create behind it. And then this is already gonna give the card dimension in this nice thick twine. I think I'll just pop up this flower and this twine is already kind of thick. I think I'll glue down the rest. So let me work on that. It's 2,300 hours there, huh, Noreen? That's uh, 1140 p.m., I'm thinking. So your day is done, you're resting, I hope, resting well. You're about to, Monday's already about to happen for you, huh? Oh, Noreen, my family, um, my mother and father-in-law have been to Africa a number of times and to South, Af South Africa a number of times. And they just went again here recently and they were just raving about it. Just every time they go back, they just see so much more that they love about the country and... They were just telling us, when you get a chance to go, you must go to South Africa. And it made me think of you. Okay, so I'll glue that there. They went on a really cool cruise. In the past, they've always just gone to Africa to visit different countries directly, but they took an 80 day cruise where they went around the entire continent. Oh, I was gonna pop that piece up. Oh well, such is life. It's being glued down and that's that. Um, but yeah, they went around the entire continent and really enjoyed it, had a wonderful time. Hello, Lorraine. How are you? 
All right, first card is done. Oh, it's sweet. And now on the, I can decorate the inside and that's where I'll probably like write one of these art quotes or type it up and make my own sentiments. Um, but yeah, I was thinking I love the way you see the world for these little guys who are painting their environment. So that's our first one. That was quick and easy and fun. Love that. Okay, let's do it again. We'll make a vertical one this time. We already have our backgrounds. Let me catch up to y'all's comments. Let me just give you something to look at. Oh gosh, I've got glue on me. Oh, Laura, you're in Western Canada. Yeah, so you usually miss my lives. I understand. It's hours difference. And if I'm up at 5 a.m., that's not good <laughs> for you. Let's see. I'm making sure I didn't miss anything. You know, LaDonna, I could put the solid paper on the inside with a strip of my scraps. Hi, Brian. How are you? Hi, Melissa. How you doing? Hi, Gloria. Aw, good to see y'all. Yeah, I could put a solid color on the inside with some of those scraps. So let's move this to the side. Um, where are those? They're right there. I have these that my friend sent me. Ooh, this green might be interesting. They are four and a half by six and a half, so that's perfect. Pastel with a white core. Totally fine. Let's use this green. I think it's pretty because it brings in that. So easy enough, we'll just pop this on the inside and then we'll cut, um, we'll cut a scrap to go in there too. I was watching, I don't know who it was. I cannot remember who it was, but they just put like a little glue, just boop, boop just around the edges of their card. And I was like, do I use, am I excessive? Do I use too much glue? Probably so. <laughs> Let's just use this one and I'm not even gonna really cut it down. I think I'll just leave it big and bold like that. And if I go in and type my sentiment, I can put my sentiment over it, depending on how short or long or the fun thing about making your own sentiments on your computer and just printing them out is that, you know, you can decide the font size and all of that. There we go. All right. Now, let's do this one. I'm gonna go ahead and just, I already know I want this to be the background, so that's easy. I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down. Okay. Oh gosh, I love this paper so much. Now we can play with the positioning of things here. Imagine. Okay. I mean, the stuff is so pretty. It just makes putting things together a little bit too easy. I almost feel like I'm cheating sometimes when it's just this easy. <laughs> I think he's imagining the elephant. I don't know. I'm going to look at it through my camera and see if I like the elephant there or not. What I've been doing lately is I'll look at it through, y'all have the bird's eye view, you can tell me. Um, 
but I'll look at it through the camera and then I'll take it away. I got to move it over, sorry. And if I miss it, then I know it needs to go back, but I have to do that again. So I'll put a piece somewhere and I'll look at it for a minute, bird's eye view, looking down, I'll take it away. I don't miss it, so I don't think it belongs. So we'll leave that piece out for now. I do kind of want more fabric. Let's look at this. Oh gosh, I love this so much. I love this piece. Where can we make? Just a little swatch is kind of all it needs. Ooh, I like it down there. I don't know how to cut it because it has all these gems. I kind of don't know where to cut it. I'm gonna have to cut around those gems. So birthday festivities have officially come to an end for Sparkle Heart for this year. We had a great time celebrating her birthday. It was a whole lot of fun. Okay, I need to trim off this portion. Then I think we'll be good. Oh, and I can bump this up. I just want to be able to see the entire Eiffel Tower. Okay, I'm liking this. All right, let's look at some of the other ephemera that I have. We still got this piece. Hmm gonna trim it like that thank you all for all the well wishes for sparkle hearts birthday that just warms my heart I really appreciate it and I'll share it with her and she, I know she'll be happy Another great thing about printables is if you're really attached like to a specific piece of ephemera, like maybe this one with the ink bottles and the calligraphy nibs, well, you could print it more than once. I'm actually going to separate it. I'm going to move a little bit up here, I think. I keep wanting to put something up here. It was so adorable seeing her out in the wild with all of her friends yesterday shopping and they were just having so much fun and it's just fun to ha see other people have fun, you know? It makes my heart happy seeing others happy. I think that's it. I think, I think that's the card. Can you put the nibs on their side? I totally could, Jim. Absolutely, they certainly don't have to be upright. I thought of that, um, like they could go right there on their side. The, we could try that. Okay, so let's try the nibs on their side over there. Ooh, I don't like that. I'm gonna put the ink back down here. Eh. <laughs> I don't know if I don't like it just because I'm already used to seeing this, but I think I'm gonna do this. Those are beautiful backgrounds, aren't they? 
I love them. I'm going to try to remember to pop up the Imagine piece. I think it would be really fun if this was kind of raised above everything else. So let me get this glued down. Well, these cards were almost just too fast and too easy. When they're this fast and this easy, I feel like I'm cheating. <laughs> But that's what great papers and ephemera will do for you. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, is I absolutely love them. Okay, I gotta glue this down. I won't put as much glue on that one. Then I gotta glue this one down. Kind of doing this in a little bit of a reverse order here. I thought it would be fun to have those leaves popped over the frame of the picture a little bit. Now let me move these ink wells down while I still can. They can just be extended over here. Put a little glue. Maybe. There we go. And then Fabri-Tac. Hello, Yvette. How are you? I hope you're doing good. Happy Sunday. I didn't get to watch the sheet load yesterday. Did you get to see it? I, I want to, it's a, a, something I want to go back and see. Um, I know Jessica was on it from Jesse Kate. Um, and who else? Maybe Karen? I don't remember. I saw a thumbnail for it again, late last night. And I was like, oh, mental note. I got to go back and watch that. Okay, now I'm going to pop up this Imagine. I am loving these cards, you guys. I could totally send these as Happy Mail. I could totally see that, sending these as Happy Mail. I have this corrugated board here, cardboard. Five o'clock, huh? Oh man, I cleaned my house today. Like I haven't cleaned it in a long time and I don't like cleaning. Y'all, the more I do it, <laughs> it just robs me of my joy. <laughs> what I told my husband. <laughs> it robs me of my joy. I don't want to do it. <laughs> the more I do it, the more I get agitated. I've got to like, I don't know, fix my mindset evidently. Oh my goodness. I bless his heart. He would have been happy to help, but he hurt his back on Friday and has been barely able to walk. Alexa, stop. Alexa always tells me when it's five o'clock. Because that reminds me to tell my children to unload the dishwasher. <laughs> Yeah, cleaning, I don't know. It uh it does not give me good vibes. <laughs> not at all. I kind of want to hit this with some gesso. But I don't know where my gesso is. I had to use it 
on a project away from the craft room and I don't think it was brought back. So I'm just gonna plop it down like that and I'm just gonna leave this as is. I think it'd be really pretty too with uh, like lunar paste. Maybe like uh, an orange, like bright lunar paste. Could be pretty on that corrugated board too, which I could come back and add later if I wanted. But there it is. We've done it. We've made two cards and I don't know how long I've been on here, but we've made two cards. Let me grab another one of those pastel Let's see what color options we have. Is there an orange? No. I kind of like this color though. Let's do that one. It's probably one I wouldn't pull for too often, but I think it works with this card. So we're gonna put this on the inside. And now we're gonna transition. And let's just make like a little art book. Maybe it could be like an ideas book or a swatch book. I don't know. I don't have any idea. I mean, I have an idea to make one, but I don't have any um, preconceived design ideas for it. I just thought, oh, making a little journal, a little art journal could be fun with these, with this kit. So again, this is Sweet Pea Curiosities on Etsy. Also, if you're an Amazon shopper and you don't like printing things, maybe you don't have a printer or you just don't want to do that sort of thing, um, Sweet Pea Curiosities is also on Amazon and you can get pre-printed books of paper and ephemera. So here are our two cards that we've made so far in this life. Is this not the cutest thing? Oh, a cleaning lady. I long for a cleaning lady. <laughs> if I ever win the lottery, I'm going to be a professional paper crafter with a cleaning lady. That's it. I mean, I'm a simple girl. I don't need a lot. Um, it's it's going to be easy. It's it's going to be a someone who cleans my house and me making paper crafts. So <laughs> let's just make a little book. I just think one of these little guys would be so cute on the cover of a little bit of little bitty like artsy fartsy book. So let's make one together. All right, I will use let me look. I got all kinds of cardboard. People probably would come in here and think I was a pack rat. No, I'm just a paper crafter. So here's some board. I save like um, the backs of my 12 by 12 pads when they're done. I also save my six by six ones, but I don't, oh, you know what? I have a whole box, hold on, right over here. You know what else I have? I have paper bags. Like, we'll just grab a paper bag. This will work too. One of my favorite journals is a paper bag journal. So it's just a standard lunch bag. There is nothing special about this. You get it at the grocery store, 50 of them for a couple of dollars kind of thing. And that's exactly what this is. And by the time we build this into something and we get it decorated the way we want, it'll be sturdy enough. Besides, I, I don't even know what this journal is going to be 
like I don't know the goal of this journal really yet so even though this pocket's super tall there's nothing saying that we can't you know trim it down put some pockets on it I think what I'm gonna do is put some of my favorite watercolor paper in here And sorry, I was just looking for it. I think the next time I clean and organize my craft room, I need to have like a sheet of paper out where I like map everything for myself. <laughs> so this is you create watercolor paper. Okay, I'm going to put this is the box. I bought 250 sheets of it. That's how good it is. So it's called You Create Watercolor Paper White Bulk 90 Pounds 9 by 12 250 sheets on Amazon. I don't know what it goes for now, but I think I bought this for around $20 and that might sound expensive to some, but for 250 sheets of watercolor paper, $20 is a killer price. Um, and what I like about it is it's great watercolor paper, but it's not super thick and it's incredibly smooth. Like it's smooth, like, um, like just regular paper, like it, it doesn't feel, like it's not bumpy, it's got a very smooth surface. Um, Desiree at Include a Thank You recommended this paper and I just love it, I love it. So I've got two sheets of that. I thought I grabbed more to be honest, but I didn't. So we'll just go with that. This is five inches, this little, bag is so that's perfect this is nine that's fine so we'll cut this to four and a half and I'll, well first let me measure this width this is five and a half Uh, so that'd be 11. Let's just cut it down a little bit less than that. Okay, so I'm cutting it to 10 and three quarters. And then now that that's cut down, we will cut this down to four and a half. I need to sharpen this blade. Look, got hairy paper. Dull blades. That's what happens there. Okay. So this would be cute uh, and just perfect if I wanted to swatch things or draw things in the journal. There will be a few of those pages in there. We've got to add other things too. We can add book pages because you can certainly swatch and color and draw in book pages too. Hi, Darla. Welcome. Welcome. How are you? Linda Gorman. Hello. How are you doing? So good to see all of y'all. Cordelia snuck in. Hi, Cordelia. You guys, I didn't get to see Craft Roulette with Kelly Taylor. No. There were, what were we doing? Birthday stuff. Um, so yeah, just birthday celebration all weekend long. All right, these pages are gonna go in here. Whew, barely made it, but they'll be fine. And then we need to add a few other interesting pages. 
And I'm gonna use, so for those just checking in, we made two cards already. Let me turn it the right way. So you might go back and catch the replay if you want to see the making of these cards. These are the, I'm working with two kits from Sweet Pea Curiosities. And they're artist theme kits. I love this one that has a little bit of the palette. And then, oh, I just love it. Love it. So this could cover, this could be part of the cover of the book. Absolutely. We'll do that. I'm not going to be able to fold over the edges, obviously, because it's my paper is as long as my paper bag, but I can fold over these top edges and then we can use washi tape or something on the others. So let's do that. gonna lose my palette but that's okay that's what's great about using digitals I can just print another one later okay so now our journal is gonna look a little more something like this I still want to put that cute little artist on here because I just want this to be a fun little art space journal Can't catch enough of those. There, we can catch enough of them if we go that way. Something like that could work. And then, all right, I'm liking it. I'm just um, testing some things out. All right, let's glue this stuff down. It really makes more sense to like measure and score if you want things done just right, but <laughs> we're not doing that. <laughs> I know this paper is so pretty. Jim, you love the paintbrushes? Me too. Oh, when I saw this collection, I was just like, me please. I want to play with that <laughs> right away and it hasn't been right away I've had it for a couple of weeks okay I'm gonna go this is fun I'm gonna get to use some washi tape how many of y'all collect washi tape you don't use if you don't do not fret. You don't have to have washi tape. You could also just cut other strips of paper, but I have a load of washi tape that I never use. So I always get excited when I find a project or a way to use it. Let me grab some. Just gonna grab the first one that I see I have this real artsy fartsy one. Oh gosh. Um, there's probably another way to open this. But I'm just going to force my way in. Here we go. I think this one is really fun and bright. I've been doing so much cleaning. My dish, my fingernails when I woke up this morning were beautiful. I cleaned all day and they're wrecked. That's another reason I don't like cleaning. <laughs> <sighs> reason 199, it wrecks my nails. Because I just have natural nails. I had them painted. Every one was a different color. Well, I mean, 
I had five colors. There was some order to it, but still. Now I have like zero nails. They've all broken. <laughs> oh, this looks like almost like Christmas themed. I guess this just reminds me of Christmas. I just want something here on this edge. Now, I don't trust washi tape. Oh, that one's sticking. Okay. Well, I'm going to glue this other edge anyways. I don't trust washi tape for a permanent because it's not supposed to be a permanent thing. So I'm just going to do that. And this one, I think I'll just leave that pocket as is. I am going to glue down these edges a little bit though. Okay. We're still going to have to bring in more paper and cover these two front end pages. I like that there's random washi tape because this is a little art book. It should have some random art. Candace, did I say hi to you yet? If not, I'm sorry and hello. Okay, the brushes. Jim, we gotta use the brushes, right? We've got to work those brushes in the mix. So. This long fellow here is gonna have to be trimmed. Now it's a short brush, short haired brush. Because I want to see the majority of them. You know how almost impossible it is for me to call myself an artist? I still don't think of myself as an artist. I think of myself as a crafter, but I'm gonna put artist on here because you know, I need to embrace the artist within, whatever that means. Let's put some flowers. Put a flower up here. I think that'll be the cover. I know, Yvette, I write like but sometimes washi is just the best. I was at a crop one time and one of the ladies cut herself and she's like, oh my gosh, I don't have a band-aid and I want to keep crafting. And I was like, I have washi tape. So <laughs> we just fixed her right up with some washi tape and she kept crafting. <laughs> it was perfect. It totally works. <laughs> the hazards of paper crafting. Put artist right there and then we'll put our flower on. Our cover for our little journal will be done. one big yellow flower. My niece, uh, my daughter and, uh, well, my husband and I, we all wear a lot of Converse high tops. It's like been my go-to shoe for years and years and years. And my husband got on board and then my daughter now is totally on board to it. Well, my niece I was like, I need Converse high tops too. So she bought a yellow pair yesterday at the shopping, on our shopping trip. I was proud. I was proud she picked yellow. Okay. You know, you could just about almost use one of these pockets to finish off the inside. Like we can just put like that brush right there That. 
and we'll just kind of piece together this inside here. Whoa, I've got stuff flying everywhere. That almost works, but the pockets won't work. Okay, move on, moving on from the pockets. There's more pockets. We're gonna find a way to use those pockets though. Oh, here's this, this could work. Those white dots, I'm not a fan of that, but I'm a fan of flowers. So I'm sure we can find ways to cover the white dots. can't really cut them off. I can color them. Yes, sorry, Darla. This is Sweet Pea Curiosities. They're brand new releases. If you've never shopped with C Sweet Pea Curiosities, you just go to Etsy and type in Sweet Pea Curiosities. And she makes a bunch of amazing digitals. Oh my gosh, just get ready. She has like 500 or more in her shop. Like, <laughs> she's prolific in creating digitals. And um, they're super affordable. Um, she also is on Amazon. She has books. I'll get one so you can see. In case you're not familiar or someone else here is not familiar with her work, but yeah, you can get book her books on Etsy. I think she has the mixed media flowers that I'm so excited about to use. Um, I think she has those in the book form. Let me grab one of her books real quick so I can show you. They'll each come with like a different number of pages. So these are the two books of hers. We can use some of these um, that I have. I only have these two. I have Long Live the Queen. And this one is all like queen images. But the back of the book has pages that are good for junk journals. And then there's always a lot of ephemera. Tons of ephemera and tags and things. And then here's some more like junk journal pages. And so she has them in different themes. So it's uh, Sweet Pea Curiosities. Okay, so she has that one. She has lots, but I only have, I only have these two. And then she has the French Blue Cameo. I grew up my, this one has more pages. So you'll have to look in the description. It'll tell you how many pages come in each book, but some have more than others. Look at this one. My mom has always loved cameos. The jewelry, she has a whole collection of cameo brooches. And so when I saw this one, I just had to get it. Anyways, um, also, these collections are available in her Etsy shop. If you don't want the printed version, you can certainly get um, the digital version so you can print it yourself. But yeah, Sweet Pea Curiosities. Alrighty. We just need one more strip right here. I have this piece. Oh, looky there. Fits like a glove. See, by the time you put all this paper on a paper bag, suddenly it's a pretty sturdy cover. <laughs> with all the glue that I use and all the paper, suddenly you're working with a pretty thick and sturdy cover to make a little journal. And if you hate it, all you've wasted is a brown lunch sack. <laughs> you know what I mean? And a little bit of paper. So it's really a low risk, <laughs> high reward <laughs> project. 
Our cover is done. It's beefy and strong, really. And so cute. Look, we made a journal. Way to go, guys. Okay, so let's put pages in it. I want book pages in it, and I want the watercolor pages in it. And then we could even, like, swatch in it or something if we wanted to. We could swatch colors. Like, if you get new colors, you could make a book that's just for color swatching. Get a paper that you like. And then when you get a new Tim Holtz color, oh, I have one. Um, then, you know, you could swatch it in here. You could make a journal like this. It's just for your swatches. And then if you make it small like this, you can pull it out when you have your inks out and kind of thumb through the pages and see. Um, I might have to trim those pages a little more. Uh, but, you know, you could have a small one that you keep on your desk like this. That would be so cute. All right. Sorry, I'm thinking book pages. Uh, I want neutral. I don't want uh, any imagery on them, I don't think. Let me see about this Beatles book. I don't know. And don't worry when you see me pull this out. It wasn't even, I didn't even get it for $2. It was like 25 cents. It was miss, it was like real beat up and it was already missing pages, okay? So that's why I'm fine tearing it up. Let's grab five pages out of here. You know, when you're using book pages, I always say this, um, if you're selling the book and you care, you know, you might, read through it and make sure there's no offensive language or content. This is my little journal and I kind of already know that this book goes there sometimes, but it'll be okay because I'm just going to cover it. Okay, now I'm just going to tear these down to the right size. These book pages are going to be covered in paint and they're going to be crooked. <laughs> So we won't worry about what they say. If you see something, don't say something. Just keep it quiet. <laughs> this is the one time I'm going to give you that advice. Okay. Cool. We've got a few more little pages. Now. Let's see. What else do we want to put in? We can try put one of these in here love this blue let me just see if anything's calling to me I don't think they work I don't think the cameo pages are gonna work but I will put a queen in there because I love me a queen <laughs> A crafty queen. All right, let's see. Yeah. Let's see. Obviously, this wasn't made for this kind of book, but I think we can make it work. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm just eyeballing this. I'm doing some of that, uh, junk journal measuring here. Just about got it. Just need a little bit more off. And then I need to take a little bit off the edges. Oh, what kind of printer do I use? I use a Canon printer and you guys, 
It was on sale for $125 last month. I don't know if it still is. I will try to look it up after this live and add it to the description box if it is on sale. 120, I mean, I've been using it since 2021 and I love it. Yay, we're gonna get to have a queen in here. Cool, that's exciting. Okay, let's grab one more interesting page or two. I like poetry in my books. Oh, look at this. We can make this work, by the way. All we need to do is just give ourselves a little bit of something to sew into. Cause yeah, I'm probably gonna stitch this together. And then I'll just rip off this bottom. I always like the numbers, but they're gonna have to go, uh-oh, in this case. This might not work. I just ripped it. Time for some washi tape. We'll put some on the side. What I was saying before I ripped my paper was that it's okay if all you have is a little bit of paper with like, you know, an inch or two because once you tuck it in, you can add more things to it. I can add on to this page, but as long as I have enough to stitch it in, then now I'll have a page of poetry in there. Why not? Okay. This may be enough paper. How about we experiment and see? Let's put poetry at the beginning. Hi, Pam. How are you, sweetie? I'm actually live when you can catch me. What do you know? I want more queens in here. Oh, it looks like I'm gonna definitely need more variety. Just to make me happy. Cause this is, <laughs> this is gonna be my little art book. Uh, but yeah, I kind of want more. Let me grab another queen. I like that there's gonna be little queens in here. If there's one that's sized right, this might not work. We might have to add them later with ephemera. Yeah, okay, well that was a bust. We got our first one but I will just use some of this paper. Let's get two more sheets of that. And I'm gonna trim this on my paper trimmer real quick. A lot of Amazon. Actually, there are a lot on Amazon, including the artist, like what you're using. Yeah, there's a ton of, by the way, yes. There are a ton of artists who are starting to make books like this and put them on Amazon. So if you like collage and junk journaling, but even if you're a card maker and you like some of this stuff, but maybe you don't have a printer or you just wanna see what's out there, there are a lot of artists who are putting their stuff on Amazon, even 
Marami Small Art did uh, books recently, I noticed, and um, Sweet Pea Curiosities. Um, there's this real popular um, pour toast and cake curry. Um, they do a lot of ephemera books. They only make ephemera. Well, they're actually starting to branch out and make um, like background paged books, but mostly what they do is ephemera. Obviously, you would have to have a play date with your scan and cut or scissors and fussy cut. Uh, there's no dyes or anything like that. So if you're squeamish about fussy cutting, it would not be my first recommendation for you. But if fussy cutting doesn't bring you to nausea, then yeah, totally check it out. It's, it's a whole thing now. I don't mind fussy cutting. I used to. Oh my gosh. I used to despise it, but it doesn't bother me anymore. Because I realize all the potential that exists. <laughs> Oh, this page is number, I'll show you, 222. Makes me think of one of my sweet friends, her favorite number. Okay, cool. That's it. We did it. So now I'm going to clip this together and sew it together real quick. Because that's what makes me the most happy when I'm journaling is to have my books stitched together. It won't take long and hopefully it'll be painless. <laughs> oh, the artist journal, the one that I'm working, this kit, is there a book for it? Is that what you're asking? I don't know. Um, she's getting pretty, uh, the artist, Marisa, she's getting pretty good about putting whatever new collection she has out in the printed books. So if it's not there yet, it may be coming. She is fabulous about communicating. So you could definitely email her and ask her like if it's in the works, if she plans on releasing it in physical form on Amazon. You could uh, message her on Instagram or on um, Etsy, and I know she'll respond to you. She's very good about that. Marisa is her name. And, but yeah, she's been getting really good about releasing her new kits in that physical form, like the books I just showed y'all. All right, we need three lengths of the height of our book and thread. I just poked three holes randomly in case any of y'all want me to talk you through this process. Grab a needle. I'm so excited. This is the best all y'all. <laughs> Sorry, that just makes me laugh. Um, it really is. This is my favorite. Okay. Just a quick little stitch. I always say this now, but it's because it bears repeating. Clip your, page, your book together so well, like these four clips that I did, and it makes this process go so much faster, so much smoother. Otherwise, you can get lost between pages and stuff. It can take so much longer to do this. Otherwise, it's fast and easy, just like this. I'm going to even this out. Let's see, I'm going to pull this way. And now I'm going to pull this way there just to give myself more string to tie with. 
gonna look on this side and make sure everything's clean, everything is good and tight. There we go. There was a string on each side of that string that comes down the middle, which helps keep it, it keeps it from getting pulled through. Trim off the excess. We have a book. We made a book. Look at us go. And two cards. We need to decorate said book a little bit. But let's do a flip through. That's my favorite thing to do once I have my book made. Is to flip through it. <laughs> oh, it is the Texan and me, Laura. <laughs> Y'all means all. I saw that the other day and it cracked me up. And I was like, yeah, y'all does mean all. <laughs> means everybody, everyone. Let me put this in here. Avoiding chocolate. How did, what happened? Pam. That sounds terrible, because I know you. Oh, chocolate. Is my family back from the orchestra already? Is that all I get? Two cards and a journal? <laughs> I love them. It's fine. But that was fast. It may get noisy. All right, let's look. We've got a poem. Oh, and I really like it. The door swings open and beyond. Nice. Oh, it's about the sea. Oh, nice. Okay. So we've got the watercolor paper, which is going to be great for swatching. We've got just random book pages, which is going to be great for swatching or gluing things on top of it. We've got our queen right at the start, which is fun. She's crafty. She's a crafty queen. Nice. She rules her little world with a paintbrush. Nice. This is fun. I love how wonky this page was. And so I wanted to keep it. And I love that it's at the center. That's fun. We have a little artsy book now. Anything could go in this. You wouldn't have to put swatches or any of that. But just the act of making it we've made art, so, you know. Baptism by fire, that's how art feels, isn't it? Sometimes, at least I think so. And then I left the opening of the paper bag back here, so I have a pocket. Yep, they're back. So that's that. Yeah, my house is about to get loud, y'all, so just get ready for that. Um. I'm not gonna put that pocket there, but I could put pockets in here somewhere if I wanted to. Um, could put a pocket here, but I'm not really going to. Alrighty, we could add, you know, this is that little flap that I was talking about that I ripped and fixed it with washi tape. But yeah, you could totally take and extend the page. You know, you can glue onto it. I think it's fun. What do y'all think? Y'all like it? Oh, you like it, Melissa? Awesome. Okay, should we put some fabric on it? These, we added the fabric, and I love the fabric detail. So let's put fabric on our book. Also, we should put some flowers and I haven't even gotten to use these two sheets yet. So, golly, I love 
all of this so much. Like I want to take this and cut it into multiple pieces. One of the ideas I had for this kit was to make cards in different sizes, make like slim line, mini slim line. I don't really like slim line. I would probably make five by seven, A2, mini slim line, A9, stuff like that. But yeah, let's put some fabric on here. What a cutie. Um, okay, let's put some fabric. You could just put like a little swatch right here or something. Something could go right there. I don't think I really want paintbrush. Let's see. No. Hmm. Oh, don't shut it too much. Sorry. I have to invite the internet in or else it won't work. I have to leave my door open. Okay. Uh, the reason why I have this like hanging off is I'm, I'm trying to think if I want this to be like a closure for the journal because we don't have a closure yet and not all journals have to have a closure. Now that I've played with this enough and see I was talking about before I know if I want to add something because I miss it when I take it away. I know I want something here but I don't know that that's what I want there. Let me go back to my fabric options real quick. The elephant never worked anywhere else. I could definitely have the elephant on mine. I actually like the elephant on this one. Yeah, the elephant's gonna stay. I think I will Put some twine or ribbon behind it. Let me grab some real quick from my sorry wall. always add fabric, right? Fun little artsy book. I got this. I thought this would be really a fun sari silk to put on here. To have the black and white. So I think what I'll do is tuck this back here behind the elephant. Then it can, well, let me hold it. Then it can wrap around the book a couple of times and tuck in to keep it closed. And I think that will be the book. I like it. I'm a fan. And I'm gonna go so far as to staple this. Probably wouldn't be everyone's first choice. I understand. But just a little tiny, can't even really see it in there. Little tiny attacher staple. Thank you, Mr. Holtz. And then I'm going to add this with this. Oh, I know. Aw, Cinnamon G, how are you? Oh, you have several six by six journals in the making? How fun. I need to make some more. Are you making them the size of six by six or are you making them with six by six paper? Have you seen my little mini slimline journals before that I make with six by six paper? I was kind of addicted to them for a while. Um, I made a bunch of flip flop mini 
journals out of six by six paper because I have a hoard of it and I was trying to find ways to use it up. We finally found a home for the elephant. The golden elephant has its forever home right here. I'm gonna have to really stick that down because that's gonna make me a little cuckoo. And then, you guys, we can flip through the things that I made today with you. Thanks for helping me out with it. And um, I gotta go because it's family's back home and it's Sunday fun day. This is why I never record on a Sunday. It's family time. So I gotta go dive into the thick of it happily and joyfully. Find out how the orchestra concert went. I'm sure it's good. They all came in chirping and chiming and delighted it sounded like. So here's our little journal. I made it long enough that really I didn't measure anything. I just lucked out, but um, I can tuck it in behind if I want. But this is the art journal. And these are the artist cards. Wouldn't this be a fun gift to give an artsy friend? Like a couple of cards in a journal. But <laughs> I'm keeping it. It's mine. <laughs> All right, let's look. This was the first card we made. The cards came together so quickly. Um, just love it. This glue is already dry. That's why I love the Fabri-Tac. Oh, I think it is precious. I really love it. That's the inside. So fun. And then this one, I really like this one too. Oh, I can't pick a favorite. These kits just made it so easy, you guys. All I had to do was add some cardboard and a little bit of fabric. The mixed media flowers and the artist kit. They did all the heavy lifting. I really didn't have to do much. We could add a flower here. Because I just think, yes, that that is beautiful. And you know, we're probably gonna have to do it to the other card real quick. And I wanna come back in and add those art quotes that I shared at the beginning of the live. Oh, you have reflux. You got it bad in February. Huh, and chocolate is to blame? It just makes it worse, I guess. Is there no other way, Pam? <laughs> Is there no other solution than cutting out chocolate? I think it just seems so extreme. <laughs> oh, but God bless you. Sorry, I'm sure that is highly uncomfortable. And I know if you cut out chocolate, it's then it's got to be miserable because I know you you like your sweets. I think we'll just put a little sunflower on that one. I'm definitely going to have to play with like coloring book pages, painting book pages, and then using, I have an infinite amount of <laughs> dyes that make flowers and then use book pages and make some mixed media flowers. This kit has me inspired to do that. Let's glue this one down. And then we'll look at our little art book once more and I will skedaddle. Thank you for hanging out with me, you guys. I had fun playing around and getting crafty with you guys and my off time and my downtime and my relaxation time. Recharging my batteries after cleaning, deleted them. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so 
now they're done on the inside except for the little art quotes that I might come in and add that I probably will come in and add so the two cards imagine and create and embrace the artist within you've all got it I know you do and this is our little paper bag book so this just started in case you joined after we started making it where did the others go well it just started from a lunch sack a little paper lunch bag these this is the cover but it's pretty stiff because it's had a lot of paper added to it and so it's really sturdy very very sturdy it's got the mixed media flower and the artist and then the fabric and sari silk. Sari being S-A-R-I and not S-O-R-R-Y. <laughs> Hi, Shay. Hi, Tamara. How are y'all? So here's the little artist journal. I'm playing with Sweet Pea Curiosities today. I'm about to head off, but just doing a little flip through of the little artist journal we made. This is watercolor paper so that you can do like swatching of colors or paint in here, um, or just doodle and draw, zentangle, do whatever. Whatever makes you happy. So yeah. Definitely check out Sweet Pea Curiosities if y'all haven't before. I just love her digitals and her printed books, all of it. And that's it. And then there's a little place back here, a little, this is the opening of the bag, obviously, um, that I did not seal shut. So I just, you'll have to go back and watch, but I just took a lunch bag, folded it in half, did it this way actually, covered it, but then I left this part open. I did glue down these internal flaps right here. These, I just glued them down to the same side, making that flap a little smaller so it just opens this much. And that's it. So thank you. Thanks for hanging out with me. Noreen, you're still awake? Oh my goodness. Happy Monday, Noreen. <sighs> Love you guys so much. Um, I had a blast spending my Sunday with you. What a rare occasion that this is. But a whole lot of fun. I'll see you again this week. I have some videos coming out for you. And I'll be live at some point someday again there we go that's what we've got i had so much fun paper crafting with you guys and i will see you next time oh the birthday party was so much fun all right bye everyone